What's up, everyone? Welcome to Silver Rose. This is Season 3, Episode 1, with myself, Silver Dragons, and Yankee Stacking. We've got lots of information. We're talking about silver. Should you buy silver now? What's going on, Yankee? How you doing, Silver Dragons? Great to be here. And that is a wonderful question. Are you getting emails and comments and texts and DMs about, hey, I'm new to stacking. What should I do, SD? Should I buy silver now with all these crazy premiums or what? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm getting more direct messages on my Instagram <laughs> than yep. I ever have before. Sometimes I'll wake up and there's like 50 in there. And I'm like, okay, let's get through these, you know. Right. But yeah, it, it's mostly new stackers. It's amazing how mm -hmm. many people are getting into silver mm -hmm. right now. So I credit that a little bit with what happened with Wall Street bets and all the craziness that went down with that short squeeze or alleged short squeeze. Um, right. I just joined Wall Street Silver. I don't know if you've seen that sub right Oh, now. okay, new, new, okay. Oh, no, I haven't I joined seen it, it yet. I've posted a few things on there. I actually posted this chunk of silver on there. Uh, it'd be interesting to, I'd be love to know if people are watching this video, leave a comment down below if you found Silver Pros through Wall Street Silver. But people are stacking this stuff more, and I think people are learning the value of physical precious metals. Yeah, so, yeah. It, it, it's good for also the younger generation to to being exposed mm -hmm. to precious metals, because typically the people that buy silver and gold, you know, these are the um, more more your generation, Yankee. Um, <laughs> oh, you had to go the, there. The boomers, et cetera, you had et cetera. to go there. I'm not a but, boomer, uh, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. But but seriously, it, it's. It's good for the younger crowd to be exposed to, you know, what real money is and how they can actually store their wealth without fear of inflation, just, you know, destroying all their buying power. Well, SD, so. I'm going to put you on the spot, though. What mm -hmm. should they be buying? Should they be buying American Silver Eagles now? Maybe just maybe Buffalo Rounds? Um, what if you here's just the... started stacking? Yeah. Put yeah, you if you just spot, started... Bro. <laughs> it's it's tough it's tough and i made lots of videos you know on this stuff uh i just posted a video of my top five silver bullion coins uh for 2021 and believe it or not the american silver eagle is not number one it's the first year that i've done this and i did not put it as number one and the reason <laughs> is because so many people are getting into silver right now and the Eagles are hyped up so much that right. the first thing they do is they go to an online bullion dealer, yep. they find the American Silver Eagles, mm -hmm. and they just load up their cart. And, and honestly, they're getting ripped off they because are. the premiums are too high. Now, it depends on where you buy from, mm -hmm. but but seriously, I mean, uh, when you can get a, a Maple Leaf for half of the premium, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. where you should go. So honestly, in my opinion, to answer your question, the generic stuff the uh, buffaloes, yep. the ten ounce silver bars, or just whatever's in stock, right? Because it's selling out everywhere. So it's extremely whatever you difficult can find. To find. I agree with you, absolutely. Yep. American Silver Eagles. I remember you. You remember our little race, right? To get to a monster oh, box, yeah. right? Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to talk about who won. Okay, but we, uh, <laughs> we raced to see who could get five hundred eagles uh, first, that was and. So I don't want to rub it in, but oh, yeah, I did win the race. All right. Anyway, but, uh, what I was going to yeah. say is uh, actually Spencer, uh, uh, I saw this in the uh, chat. It said that uh, Cull Silver. I remember looking mm. for Cull Silver Eagles. And at my local coin shop dealer, he let me just work my way through. And I got him for a buck or two over spot, dude. Sometimes I'd actually at spot if he was really generous. I mean, it was crazy. Wow. These were eagles. So a good two, a good third to a half of my monster box are cull. Now, some of them are just beautiful and just, you know, whatever. But that premium was crazy compared to now. Yep. And I yeah. don't think it's the right time. I think it's got to come down a little bit before you go after the Eagles. I hate to say it, but I mean, I mean, here's the thing: like, should you buy silver in general? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, th this is something we talk about a lot. Absolutely. But there's so much, so much 
potential upside and you know with the dollar just tanking <laughs> oh my goodness oh. it's like how could you not be buying silver but yeah with yes. the eagles this probably not the time this is the way to go guys remember the spot deals remember those mm -hmm. yep oh, man yep. you did some great videos on that I, you my my perspective is if you can build a great relationship with a local coin shop dealer that's your number one but a lot of times with you know, COVID and, you know, distance. I've talked to people that are literally hundreds of miles from an LCS. Online is the way to go. And I right. think it might be a good time to shout out our sponsor, Hero Bullion. These are in stock silver items at Hero Bullion that you can get. And uh, tell me what you think. Yeah, no, they have a great selection. Uh, you know, we know the owner, uh, Jake, he's an awesome guy. Uh, they've got guy. several other people working there now, and they're they're really, really fast when it comes to shipping. Yep. Um, when when they, we had that massive demand for the silver squeeze, all the other bullion dealers were like, hey, two yep. weeks until yep. we ship out, and Hero Bullion was shipping out that day for people that paid with credit cards. They stayed up all night and uh, you know, they want people to have their silver, but yeah, their, yeah. their stock is awesome. Uh, they got the Britannias. Those I talk about in my, my last video, right. they got, you know, the, the maples, etc. They've got a lot of great options and the premiums are lower than most of the big dealers. Isn't that amazing? Um, yeah. You talk about the Britannia. So yeah. So you can get them as low as 3289. Mm -hmm. Yep. Using that's 500, but right here, if you're going to buy one or buy 10, 3383. Um, I have been thinking about getting more Britannias, actually, because they seem to be one of the least expensive government minted silver bullion out there, at least from Hero Bullion. But um, yeah. Yeah. And, and honestly, it's nice to buy silver coins. You know, mm -hmm. they are backed by a sovereign nation. Mm -hmm. They're somewhat more desirable than just getting the generic rounds, generally speaking. Right. Um, but, but yeah, Britannia's are an awesome option and they're beautiful. And too. maples and maples, especially living up, uh, where I live <laughs> in New Hampshire, uh, just not far from the border. We see a lot of, um, Canadian coins. So this is a very recognizable coin and it's a good price too. And yep. it's in, in yeah. stock. Yeah. The maples are great. They have the security features. Mm. Um, you know they got the privy mark, and they've they've had the security feature since 2014. So they they're, they're right. well ahead of everyone else as far as that's concerned. You know one thing I do want to say though, while we're on the maples, sure, their four nines fine silver, and people all the time <laughs> will ask me or comment and say I only buy four nines fine, and I kind of somewhat jokingly say, <laughs> oh, are you making colloidal silver, or are you doing some sort of medical, <laughs> you know, are <laughs> What exactly do you need the four nines fine for? Because right. you know it's great, but but honestly, you know the industry standard for investment bullion is three nines fine. So you know anything that's three nines fine, good enough for me. This was the first tube of silver I purchased. Right here, Canadian Maple Leafs. There you Wasn't go. Wasn't the American Silver Eagle, and the reason being is that they were cheaper. Got them for a great price. So definitely check out Maples. I know we're talking about silver a lot. You know, this is mm. silver pros. But I, I got to ask you, did you have a run-in with some fake gold recently, Yankee? Oh. I Because this, this is something, too, because fake silver, prevalent. Yep. Fake gold, also prevalent. People mm -hmm. need to know that they're not getting ripped off. And, you know, exactly. obviously buying from a reputable dealer like Hero Boyan or some of the other right, ones. Right, right. Right. For sure, but when you're buying private party, when you want to get those better deals, yeah. So can can you tell uh, us about your experience? Oh yeah, it's fresh in my mind. I'm not going to mention any names. Most of the people in this chat probably know this person. Wonderful person, really really nice. He reached out to me and said, "Yankee, you're not going to believe what I just got. The unbelievable uh, uh, windfall." A friend of, I believe, this person's brother or girlfriend, mm -hmm. I should think, um, basically got an inheritance. $800,000 in wow. gold. Wow. It was her grandfather. Died and willed it to her. She brings it over to this gentleman. He looks at it, 
his eyes, you know, <laughs> get as big as this. <laughs> okay. Sure, and sure. he's like, what do I do? So he reached out to a few people, reached out to me and somebody else and said, are you interested? I'm like, for how much? He said, spot. <laughs> like, wow. okay. Yeah, absolutely. So he said, we've got bars, we've got Canadian maple leaves. I said, hmm, okay. They're gold maples, right? These are gold. These are one ounce gold maples. Thank you. So like, yeah, 1850 or something. Like, it's a lot yeah. of money. It's a lot of money, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, can I see some pictures? <laughs> He's like, sure, let me take some pictures. He sent them to me. And I looked at it and my, my heart dropped. They were fake. I could tell. Let me show you this. This is a close-up. This is a fake one-ounce gold maple. It was actually the same year that he was sell trying to sell me, 2015. Yeah. I don't, there's a lot of ways you can tell, but the thing that jumped out at me and I told him was look at the lines. These radial lines are supposed to be ways that you can avoid fakes, counterfeit silver and gold, but right. you've got to be careful. There are three spaces between these radial lines between the two ones for Elizabeth II, right there. Mm -hmm. yep. Wrong. It's supposed to be eight. Whoa, let me zoom yeah. in a little bit tighter here. There. The lines are right they're, there. Yeah. They're way too, they can't counterfeit the tight lines as well. Now let's switch back because right. you've got a fake, don't you? I do. I have a fake uh, gold Canadian maple leaf and uh, I'll show it off here. But yeah, it, and, and also if you mm. if you held it in your hand, if you saw it up mm. close, you would be able to tell they are they're pretty easy. They're pretty easy. Here, let me try get it a little bit closer. Right. Um, they're pretty easy to see that they're fake. But if you don't know, you know what fake gold, fake silver looks like. I could so, tell. So, there's other things too, right? There's the font of the nines. There's the crow's feet around her eyes that are missing on the obverse. Yeah. Uh, now, the now hair is these, wrong. Everything. It just looks wrong. These maples, they are mm. magnetic. So if you had one, I don't have a magnet on me, but I just want to show you next to the real buffalo. I do. Okay. Because I have one of these, dude. Because the buffalo's 24 carat. Yep. The maple's 24 carat, right? Yep. So look at the size difference. Look at that. Gee, that's wrong. It's insane. The that maple is, is way, way, way bigger. Yep. So yeah, yeah you, you can get, tell the thing. Got to get yourself a neodymium rare earth meta, uh, magnet. That helps a lot. But also, he did other tests after I told him, and he emailed me back and said, "I can't believe it. I I, I can't believe they're all fakes, all the maples." I said, "Did you sell the other two? Because I was going to buy like three. I said, yeah. "Did you sell the other two? And he's like, "Yeah." I said, you got to contact oh, them right goodness. now, right now. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to contact them. And then what about the bars? He tested it and then cut the bars. They're all fake. All the oh, bars were fake. I felt so bad for him and the woman because I don't think she was in on anything. I think I think her grandfather was, was taken. Well, it, it's interesting because did he buy them as – like did he know that they were fakes or did he not? Because <sighs> yep. some people buy fake bullion – to put in their decoy safe sure right so a lot of people and this is a question i get a lot a lot too mm -hmm. where do i store my silver should mm -hmm. i store it at the bank no don't store it at the bank get a big heavy safe in a hidden room right but also have a decoy safe that's mm -hmm. a little bit easier to find maybe in your bedroom and put right. some fake stuff in there so if they they find the decoy safe they take all the fake stuff and your big heavy hidden safe is still you know secure so exactly good, it, good it's point. possible that this lady still has i mean if they i don't know if they, she can go to the house and look for it but what if, you know what if there is a massive safe somewhere i know, I know. you know oh, what i'm man. saying that i hear crazy? you i hear you yeah, it was a lot it's possible that it was done as a ruse as a as a way to throw potential thieves off i purchased a bunch of fake silver i gotta be careful to keep it separate from your real stuff you don't want to get it mixed up but um right. yeah i got it off of alibaba for nothing so you could buy a big monster box of fake american eagles probably for like i don't know uh, 50 bucks or something it's really not a lot of money maybe he did do that i don't know i just yeah. felt sorry for this person i was glad i was able to help him but I was crushed for him and for this woman. I mean, and I was a little disappointed myself. <laughs> I yeah. wanted three maples That's for a spot, awesome. dude. That would have been know. awesome. Um, that would have been great. Well, one thing I was going to say is that, you know, if 
people are new to precious metals and they're you know looking at silver on ebay and whatnot there's a lot of fakes on ebay if it yes. seems too good to be true Absolutely. it's probably too good to be true if it's under spot probably fake so you know talking about silver and gold and everything mm. we got to look at the spot right we are let's right see now. Let's, let's see where, where silver and gold are at today um obviously it changes all the time except on the weekend <laughs> <laughs> so silver let's talk about silver right now this is the past week we got actually i could go on a month you can maybe see what we had we had that fun run up right oh yeah that was a getting everybody excited these are closes at uh, close prices we did break 30 dollars an ounce back then it, it, intraday intraday day. yep yep and then it just got got that back down again you know right now we're at i think it's 27 is that the latest yep yeah it's yeah. uh you know spot you, you did a really good video sd about a week ago it was an mm -hmm. interview with Lear gantz he spelled out five or six reasons why he thinks silver and gold but mostly silver i think he was talking about silver a lot is going up came up yeah, with some yeah. really strong arguments i mean i might mention a couple here but you got to watch that interview on sd's channel you're, you're going to learn a lot i did yeah uh, every yeah. time i talk to leor gantz i mm. learn something he he follows the markets he lives and breathes the markets and he's much more knowledgeable than myself when it comes to like the technical things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I sort of just look at everything as a whole. Okay, what's going on in the world, but not necessarily, you know, all of the the uh, smaller, I, I guess, sort of technical trends. You know, sure. people watch the, the candlestick. They, okay, this is the bottom and whatever. Right. But just a few of the things that he said that really jumped out at me. Um, one is there is a reversal of globalization that's going on in the world right now. And it is primarily due to that COVID crisis, right? The mm -hmm. whole, the whole panic around it. There is a big desire to bring back our supply chain. It, it's right now globalization is, is at risk and there's a fear around that. And I think he said that that is bullish for silver he talks about the wealth redistribution that is about to happen. We're going to see new taxes and new ways of doing what Robin Hood did in, 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 you know, move the money around. The government's going to play games that way. And that is going to be good for this stuff. And I think the last so, thing I'm going to mention is um, electric vehicles. Hello. That's going to be yep. huge. They need silver. I don't know why <laughs> Tesla, why Elon Musk didn't buy this stuff while it's cheap because they use this stuff up like crazy. Maybe he will, we'll see, but definitely EVs, another good reason. There are a lot of reasons, and maybe if you want to mention them, you can, but you got to watch this video. It's a great interview. Yeah, yeah, no, and he, he talks about a lot of the reasons, but the main thing is that mm -hmm. silver is on a bull run. Mm-hmm because it trades inversely with the dollar so the the dollar is very bearish and you know typically these these runs will last about 10 years and we're not even a year in we're, we're almost a one year in one year to this right. 10 year super cycle exactly so i mean even if you're just getting into silver now at the 27 dollar spot price exactly oh man i mean just think about five or ten years from now if you do, if you don't buy you'll be you'll be kicking yourself Absolutely. saying oh, i should have bought silver why did i why did i not so you, you did mention inflation and the dollar right i did a video um uh, this week actually um uh, the sure thing why i believe mm -hmm. silver and gold are are sure things and i i spell it out and one of them is the decline of our dollar that's not going to change there's a lot of uh, a lot of great reasons to get in it's tough but like you said sd earlier get in on the rounds just get in on whatever you know, silver is available uh, online, like with Hero Bullion at your LCS, whatever you can get, it's worth it. Uh, yeah. A couple of the things that uh, Lior uh, Gantz said that that I loved, okay, and again, you, you got to watch his video. The two-prong approach. He called it a two-prong. He said one is the physical. We all love that, right? Yep. All this stuff. Yep. Got to get the physical. Yeah. If you don't <laughs> hold it, you... You don't own it. Thank I, you. It, it, this, this is the insurance. You have to have this. Yes. This is your store of wealth. Yes. Absolutely. But the other thing he said is if you're going to do trading, trade the miners, the precious right. metal, silver and gold mining stocks. Guys, 
I've done videos on mining stocks that really have the potential to go up. Yes, if you're doing juniors, they're highly risky. I have some, you know, majors that I invested in, what, six months ago? One of which was First Majestic, ticker symbol oh, yeah. AG. Dude, that went yep. crazy over the whole that, Reddit. That, that was the squeeze, I think, a little bit. I mean, some, you know, one of the posts was saying, you know, okay, everyone buy SLV, everyone buy AG. <laughs> right. And and a AG got that get, they got that bump right and I I do own First Majestic uh, right. stock as well. Well, I sold uh, but, half but, my position yeah. when it went up. Yeah. I was like, I, I'm taking half of it off the table because that's where that's where you really should be investing. You know what I'm saying? When right. I say investing, really trading and uh, speculating that way. Um, this, like you said, SD is insurance, right? That's gorgeous yep. insurance over there. By the way, love that gold. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, right now, um, gold is just as good of a buy as silver, in my opinion. Um, and so I'm actually buying 50% mm -hmm. of my money is going to gold, 50% mm -hmm. to silver. But I just recently made another uh, gold purchase yep. today. And so I'm excited for that to come in. I, it was a pre-order, so I don't know what it'll be here. Oh, but, very nice. Uh, yeah, I, I made... I made my purchase in gold today. It's one ounce, and it's something I've been wanting for a long time. So I think <laughs> I think gold is actually a good thing to be buying now because percentage-wise, the premiums are less. Yes, indeed. But before we wrap it up here, yep. we should mention uh, Amark buying JM Bullion. Mm -hmm. And good point. This is a this is a really big thing that's going on right now, and. We should we should definitely weigh in. So first off, if you don't know A Mark, they're like one of the big big boys, right? I mean, I, they're they're much bigger than Atmex, I believe, because they're a supplier, um, and so they supply a lot of the bullion dealers with bullion, right? Right. And now that they've bought, they've actually acquired JM Bullion and Provident and mm -hmm. Silver.com and all these other mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. I think there was like five websites that they bought all in this package. Now they're going to be able to sell directly to the consumer. And so, yes. I mean, this is this is good for them, I guess, because they'll probably make more money. More they're not profits. necessarily. Yeah. yeah, it's retail, not wholesale. They're not going to pass that on to us, I doubt. I doubt. No, it. no. <laughs> but but, it, but one thing that, that could be an issue is because they supply a lot of the other bullion dealers. Mm -hmm. You know, they might try and make it a little bit more of an incentive to buy from JM right. uh, with the, with their wholesale pricing. And so, well, you know, we'll have to keep an eye on it. But, uh, you know, ultimately, is it good for us, the end consumer? Not really. It doesn't really do anything. Plus, I'm not, I mean, I'm not against dealing with whatever online bullion dealer uh, has a good deal, has the round or coin you're after. But again, I just want to say that I've had some issues with... Um, uh, a rather large uh, bullion dealer in the past, and I never felt <laughs> like, I won't say the name, I never felt like I was being really treated like I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case with Hero Bullion. Jake gets back right. to people, Jake treats people with respect, and his customer service is unrivaled. So definitely check out Hero Bullion, the sponsor of tonight's giveaway and the sponsor of our show. Yes, indeed. I bought my uh, gold buffalo from nice. Hero. I, I asked him. I said, Jake, can you get me a buffalo, a gold buffalo? He didn't have any. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, One last so, thing. One last thing before we, yeah. we wrap this, this uh, yep. discussion up on that video. Um, <laughs> Lior Gantz said that he thinks we should have, this blew my mind, dude, one year of expenses in precious metals that should Ooh. be our goal at least <laughs> like what it's interesting right because if you look at you know what some of the other mm. uh, uh financial advice like look at dave ramsey right he's what right. does he say six months in yeah. savings or Absolutely. something like that emergency fund and yep. so yeah but this is basically you know it, it's double that it's a year in savings but it's it's precious metal savings right if you just have six months in savings in the bank you're losing money to inflation. Absolutely. So, in Absolutely. my opinion, it's smarter to put it into gold and silver and have that be your mm -hmm. savings account. I agree. Did we talk about the gold to silver ratio? Uh, we did not mention the ratio, but yeah, we, we definitely should. I mean, right now it's sitting around, I think, 67 
uh, last I checked, yes. which is it's coming down. Last year it hit all time highs. It was like 120 intraday, and yes. uh, it is it's making its way down. Silver is finally starting to catch up. I got an email before we went live. He said, "Yankee, one of my local coin shop dealers buys directly from the mint." Doesn't have a wholesaler, gets it right there. And mm -hmm. they told him, you're not getting any silver until April. Yeah, they're on they're on allocation. Done. So that ain't yep. coming. So people are not going to be able to get this stuff as easy as they normally do. I mean, so that's why if you get a website that actually is good, you trust, and has it in stock, and if they're a good deal, grab them. Try to avoid yeah. the higher premium stuff. Try to avoid the... You know, first strike slabs, especially you newbies out there. Don't be drawn into semi numismatic, rare date, really expensive uh, silver. If you're going to stack, don't even don't even buy you know poured art. That's awesome to get, but if you're trying to stack, no, it, 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 yeah, that's for collecting stuff, absolutely, right? Yeah, yeah you, absolutely. Yeah, you, you don't want to. You don't want to for be your savings, about stacking. Yeah. For for your silver savings, you need to have the highly liquid, low premium silver. So your generics, your coins, your bars, that kind of stuff. That's your stack. If you want to collect, then that's fine. A lot of people like to collect silver as well. They buy all the fun stuff, you know, right. hoard silver, right. the fun silver coins, all the, the this eagle that that we're giving away oh. here live in a moment. That would be definitely considered a collectible. Yeah, um, the constitutional silver. So yeah, absolutely. I see, Hero Bullion's got uh, what is it one dollar face twenty six thirty three. Click in on that. That is in stock right now. If you go with the check, twenty three dollars sixty two cents. That's another great way. Yeah, that's another great way to yeah. stack. So you definitely that is want a great to check way to it stack. out. All right. All right. Well, we're gonna wrap up uh, this part of the show. Um, if you're if you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, try and check us out live on Silver Pros. We go every other week on Silver Dragons channel and then Yankee Stackings channel, uh, and we do the giveaways live. But if you're just watching this part of the show, thank you so much. Yeah, and if you are interested in asking us more questions after um, you know we end this portion of the show. Feel free to stick around. You're obviously going to want to stick around for this. But yeah, if you have other stacking questions, we're here for you on Silver Pro. Yeah. Because so. we want you to stack like a pro. <laughs> <laughs>